so as promised guys i'm going to show you guys my everyday no liquid foundation look it's a really really easy look um and this look is definitely for people who do not want to wear liquid foundation on a regular base if you're going to work if you're going to school you don't have time to do that whole flawless liquid highlighted and contouring look this look will definitely be helpful for you guys um i've been getting a lot of comments from my subscribers requesting for like an everyday look something that they can wear to school to work on the go type of makeup so i decided to just share with you guys my um everyday no liquid foundation look yeah so what is this anyways so the first thing i like to do is i'm going to use the mac nw45 concealer this is the select no, the Studio Finishing Concealer. And this is the shade right here. And using my Real Technique um, brush, this brush is a pointed foundation brush. I'm going to apply this on my lids just to give an even um, tone on my lids. As you can see, I have this coloration on my lids. So it's not like an even tone. So it will blend out with the, um, I guess when I do my eyebrows, the concealer. And this is the same concealer that I use for um, to define my eyebrows, so it blends really well. So I'm just going to go ahead and just even out the tone on my lids. So you guys can see the difference right away. You can see how even it is and this helps a lot like when you're on a go because you know when you wake up in the morning especially if you're not using like a, a liquid foundation you want to still have a fresh face so concealing areas really do make a difference so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other side So if you, if you guys want to see my eyebrow tutorial, nothing has really changed. Um, you notice on my videos, I don't really start with a, an eyebrow because nothing has really changed with my eyebrow routine. Everything is still the same. So I'll leave the link below if you want to see my eyebrow tutorial um, and how I achieve my eyebrows. Nothing really changed. Um, still procedure. I might have added a few um, products here and there, but the routine is still the same. Okay, so once that is done, this is how my face look. As you can see, nice and smooth. So we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. Next, what I like to do is I'm just gonna basically apply concealer on my under eye. And I find that when I apply concealer on my under eye, even from my on the go, like even though I'm in a rush, it's really important that I conceal my under eye because it gives me more of a, a more awakened look. So I look more awake, I look more refreshed. And so I like to apply concealer on my under eye even though I'm on the go. So I'm just going to apply the Pro Long, MAC Pro Long Concealer in NW40. So as you can see, I'm not using a lot of products compared to like when I'm doing my makeup tutorials, when I'm going for like a more flawless finish. I apply a lot more concealer to conceal. But for this look, I'm going for like on 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 the go. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm going for more of an on the go. Okay, so once I have concealed my lids, um, my under eye, I'm gonna use the mac bluff powder and this is in dark and i'm going to use this to just set the concealer all right guys so i know right now i look like a ghost <laughs> but we're gonna move on so next using my studio the mac studio fix and this is an nw um, 50 yeah nw 50 so this is actually a powder foundation with the elf powder brush so yeah so let me just show you guys what i do so the reason why i like using this powder brush is because of the surface the flat surface and it picks up just enough products it doesn't soak into the brush so i really like using this and it is a powder brush so of course this is the best um, brush to use 
So what I'm going to do in a rotation I'm taking that also under my eye to kind of um, blend together the highlight from the block powder to remove any demarcation so you won't see like the, the two tone it just blends up very um, evenly so this way you will not see that I have two different types of powder on my face so I haven't done my forehead yet because I want you guys to see um, how the powder and my highlight blends in so well so you guys can already see kind of the difference in my face you guys can see the before and kind of halfway through the process of the um the application okay so i'm going to move on to my forehead to so just kind of complete the look so you guys can see So next I'm going to use this small um, smudge brush um, just to go around my eyebrows to make sure that I remove the concealer track so you won't be able to kind of see that I have concealer around my brows. So yeah, I'm going to use this to kind of just go over small areas that the e.l.f. powder brush couldn't get to. You know, I'm doing this really slow because I want you guys to see how you can achieve a flawless um, look now technically on an everyday like when i'm going for this look it takes me no more than 15 minutes but because i want you guys to kind of see the gist of how to a flawless finish without a liquid foundation next i like to apply like a little bit of shimmer to my eyelids now you can skip this step and go right ahead with your eyeliner um but for me i like to use the nyx nutmeg it's a nice um Sort of a sheer shimmery type of um, eyelid eyeshadow basically so I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna gently just pat that on really lightly into the center of my lids this just brings a little bit of color into the look just like that thing with the other eye so very light nothing really dramatic okay and i'm just gonna clean around it because i don't want it too high just like so so this just brings a little bit of color to the lid and then now using just mac embark i'm just going to place that in my crease and this is just going to bring a little bit of color also into the lid like i said you can completely skip this step if you don't like to apply anything you can just skip this step and just go right into your liner but for me i like a little bit of color on my lids so I'm just gonna place that right here like so really lightly just into the other corner so once that's complete I'm gonna go ahead and just do a really soft wing line to my lids and I'm actually using the NYX um what is it studio what is it called extreme black studio effect liner All right, guys, so look, I love, love, love this mascara. So this is how the mascara looks. I love it. It makes you look like you're wearing lashes. Absolutely love it. So I've applied on my bottom lashes as well as the top. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight to the highest point of my cheekbone right here just to make me have a nice and fresh glowy look. Now I'm just going to apply some lip gloss. The lip gloss I'm using today is by Nanako. I did a review on this um, on my top 20 nude lipsticks. So this is Nanako. It's a, it's, um, blah, blah, blah. it's a beauty supply store um, brand. And this is Hidden Desire. Actually, no, sorry. This is Love Affair. Love Affair. Love Affair. Hidden Desire is the nudish 
color. I'm going to apply this on my lips and then the look is complete. Yeah, so this is the finished look. So I hope that you guys um, enjoy this video. Uh, so this is how I get it done. This is my everyday no liquid foundation. You know, I hope this video was helpful for a lot of you guys who are students, who are in the workforce, who want to look flawless but doesn't want to apply too much product, doesn't have the time in the morning to do that whole contouring and highlighting and blending of the liquid foundation. So I hope that this video was um super helpful for you let me know if there's any other video requests you guys would like to see leave all your comments below and i will see you on my next video bye guys